Welcome back to the NMSE Learning Systems YouTube channel. I am your lead consultant, Kiwi Hendricks, better known as the DLA Guru. Today's video segment features another inside scoop of the DLA in the News, which is an audio narration series of select articles written by the journalists with the Defense Logistics Agency to keep stakeholders informed about the ins and outs as it pertains to the DLA on the move. I believe this series will both inspire and enlighten our subscribers on who the DLA is and ways in which you may be able to be of greater service to the DLA and the U.S. federal government. So sit back and relax, grab a pad and pen, and let's get empowered. Welcome back to another segment of the DLA in the News. DLA Energy Fiscal Year 2022 Fact Book is online. February 8, 2023. Article written by, DLA Energy Public Affairs, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. The Defense Logistics Agency Energy Fiscal Year 2022 Factbook is online. For the past 45 years, DLA Energy has compiled a snapshot of the facts, figures, and financial information from the previous fiscal year. It is the only DLA major subordinate command that publishes an annual report. The Factbook is prized for its thorough overview of the organization, structure and supporting business units as well as detailed information on sales, cost, inventory, contract actions and programs. Student clients, this is another reaction brought to you by the DLA Guru. This is a great article that talks a lot about the DLA Energy Division. And... Um, the related DLA uh, Energy Fiscal Year 2022 fact book. Uh, to get involved, if you are a small business and you are in the energy sector, either you distribute petroleum products or you're a manufacturer of petroleum products or related equipment or any of those uh, types of services surrounding DLA Energy and you're interested in getting involved, again, the article hopefully should inspire you. First thing that I would recommend is taking a look at the DLA Office of Small Business Programs, as you see on screen. Um, I'll also provide uh, the link to this website in the description below. But if you notice on this, um, this website, there are various divisions of the DLA, and I have energy highlighted. And there's great information. First of all, they're headquartered in Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Uh, so if you're in that area, uh, they're just... You know, that's, that's a, a great place to try to set up meetings. Uh, and if you're not in that area, uh, here's an email address where you can reach out and uh, contact the Office of Small Business Programs for DLA Energy, as well as a phone number where you can call to inquire about how your, your company can get involved. Um, I'll scroll down on this page here, and I, I like to read this because a lot of newcomers to the DLA are not always exactly sure of how to get involved. Um, but if you're not sure which small business program office to contact, first of all, take a look at this site. And uh, instructions are, if you have a question related to a specific buying activity of the DLA or want to spend or send your capability statement to market your company, contact the DLA small business office associated with that buying activity. In this case, it would be the office of um, DLA uh, Energy. Um, the article also references, again, the fiscal year 2022 fact book. Um, I'll go ahead and click a link here that I'll also provide in the description below. But this is um, the DLA Energy's library site on the DLA, uh, DLA's website. And uh, once you reach this page, um, when you scroll down, there's a lot of information here about DLA Energy publications. Well, there's the coveted DLA, uh, download the DLA Energy fact book. Uh, by clicking the link, uh, then you'll be able to download the PDF of, um, of this publication, which is approximately 91 pages long. Um, I'm not going to spend time going through all 91 pages, of course, but when you, when you download the, the, uh, the, the publication, I highly recommend you take a look at the table of contents. And what really struck my, my attention was the Small Business Program Achievements link. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click that link, and it advances to page 38 of this document. Uh, that will show you a breakdown in the past three years, uh, fiscal year 2020, 2021, and 2022, 
of the total spend that DLA Energy, as far as awarded contracts, uh, spent with small businesses. Uh, in, in 2020, it was $4.7 billion were spent in DLA Energy-related contracts. Uh, fiscal year 2021, $5.3 billion worth of uh, contracts were spent, as well as uh, in just last year, 2022, there were $7.5 uh, billion dollars. So you see a, kind of an upward trend on spend each year. And so here we are in fiscal 20, uh, fiscal year 2023. And keep in mind, uh, President Biden, um, the, uh, the House of Representatives approved the $1.7 trillion spending bill for this fiscal year, which um, the federal government has until September of 2023 to spend those dollars. And you, you, bet, you bet your bottom dollar that the DLA Energy um, a division will also be be spending um, money as it relates to uh, buying uh, from small businesses in in this particular uh, sector, and I I really like to look at what areas of small businesses the DLA focuses on. You'll see that uh, there are a lot of small business awards. Um, and I guess their goal is twenty five, you know twenty five to maybe you know twenty eight percent, twenty five to thirty percent each year. I, I imagine. Uh, you, uh, the, the small disadvantaged business awards, you'll see, um, last year there were $479 million worth of awards to sm just small disadvantaged businesses, uh, women owned businesses. There were 60, $62 million were spent with, uh, certified William, uh, woman owned small businesses. So if you, if for the ladies that are out there who are in, uh, in business and want to do business with the DLA, highly, highly recommend that you guys get certified. Uh, through your local SBA office and get involved with the DLA, especially if energy is um, is kind of you know your lane of business. Uh, for those hub zone small business or fellow, I should say, hub zone small businesses that are out there, there were five hundred ninety four uh, billion dollars that were spent last year, and you'll see kind of an upward tick year after year in the number of dollars that are spent with hub zone businesses. So if you guys are hub zone uh, and in this in this related sector, get in contact with the Office of Small Business Programs and find out how you can get involved, uh, as well as the service disabled veteran owned small businesses. Uh, President Biden uh, has a mandate to do a lot more business. Uh, the federal government wants to do a lot more business with uh, service disabled veteran owned small businesses. The DLA is the perfect customer to get involved with uh, if you have these certif certif uh, certification and distinctions. Um, so not to labor you too much more with my reaction, but uh, it's a great, great publication to download. I mean, you can scroll through and this is a lot of information that talks about, you know, what, what the DLA is doing, being on the move as it relates to the DLA energy. Um, so again, I'm not going to go through each one of these. Um, I like to finish the article. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and switch it to back to the article. And, um, um, and thanks again for watching. It has been an absolute honor and privilege to command DLA Energy for a third year. Leveraging this continuity permitted our organization to advance closer to the demands of the nation's defense strategy while responding to real-world challenges, said DLA Energy Commander Air Force Brigadier General Jimmy Conless, in the Commander's Update on page 8 of the book. We balanced competing priorities while supporting global operations in Ukraine, Hurricanes Fiona and Ian relief efforts, climatization goals, 2022 National Defense Authorization Act Section 352 implementation, and the defueling and closure of the Red Hill Bulk Fuel Storage Facility. In 2022, DLA Energy Acquisition Professionals procured and managed energy products and services, valued at more than $11 billion. Broken down, that's $5.7 billion for the Air Force, $3.9 billion for the Navy, $866 million for the Army, $85 million for the Marine Corps, $40 million for the Navy, and $783 million for other defense and government agencies. To learn more, review the agency's financial results which start on page 25 of the book. DLA Energy Installation Energy and Utility Services team supported contracting of facility and installation energy requirements with $3.26 billion in energy savings performance, $825 million in renewable energy, $805 million in electricity, $760 million in utilities privatization, 
$350 million in natural gas, and $104 million in coal. The DLA Energy Workforce continues to make great progress in advancing climate change efforts in order to meet clean energy goals. Teaming with the military services and other government agencies, the agency is aggressively pursuing procurement of carbon pollution-free electricity to achieve goals, set forth in executive orders. The DLA Energy Sustainment, Restoration and Modernization Program, supported 1,892 projects and obligated $867 million to help maintain Defense Department fixed fuel infrastructure, and the DLA Energy Aerospace Team continues to support military and government with missile fuels, liquid propellants for space launch and satellites, aviators breathing oxygen, and other bulk industrial chemicals and gases. To read more about DLA Energy and its fiscal year 2022 highlights, download a copy of the fact book on in the agency's online library. This now concludes another edition of the NMS e-learning systems, the DLA in the news. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so that you can always be abreast of new audio narration segment releases, brought to you by the DLA Guru. Thanks again for watching. I'm Parker Winslow, signing out. Thanks for watching. Also, if you find my related content inspiring, please show your support by hitting the like, share, and subscribe button, along with the notification bell, so that you can be alerted when I drop new relevant content to empower you for success with the DLA. Also, by doing so, you'll help me reach a larger audience of people who may be also interested in learning more about government contracting and doing business specifically with the world's largest customer the Defense Logistics Agency. Also, please don't forget to check out my flagship masterclass, Eight Steps to Successful Federal Supply Contract Bid Submissions to the DLA. This masterclass provides a balanced approach to virtual education and is designed for both beginners and seasoned companies alike, with proven techniques on the best way to position your organization to being successful with winning federal supply contracts with the DLA. The masterclass contains three and a half hours worth of content, along with proprietary and recommended software tools designed to empower you for success with the DLA. Check out the links provided in the description below to learn more today.